I'm Ian Twombly with AOPA Media, and uh, for the past couple of days, I've been trying out Garmin's new D2 Mach 1 Pro. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. So I use um, Garmin's lower end watch, and I really like it. So I was excited to try out this new flagship model they have. It goes for about 1400 bucks. It has a number of new features. It has some additional heart monitoring. It has the O2 monitoring that we're used to now. It also has a couple of cool, just sort of nifty things like flashlights. So you've got the white flashlight. They also have a red flashlight now. It's right on the top. And also the face of the watch, once you get into the menus, can turn red. So for low light conditions, night flying, it's really nice. Uh, it doesn't blind you like a lot of other watches do. And you don't need a flashlight to see it like you do a conventional watch. I really like the watch. I've enjoyed using it. It's really powerful. You get things like moving maps and direct to and um, all kinds of features. I will say you need to spend some time on the ground playing with it, going through it, or maybe some long cross countries kind of working through the menus because um, it is a really feature rich watch and it takes some time to learn. That said, I think if you already have the flagship model, I'm not sure it's worth upgrading. Maybe, maybe not. If you got the 1400 bucks, you want to spend it, awesome. If you have Garmin's kind of lower end like I do, it's definitely a, a present idea for your spouse. If you're new to Garmin watches in general and you want the highest end, I think it's a, it's a really cool feature rich device. I will say it is really large. So for people with larger frames, I think it fits just fine. It comes with two bands, this sort of uh, metal band and uh, a rubber band. I had kind of the rubber one first and I, it doesn't breathe particularly well for me. So the metal, they nicely in the box, they put in a screwdriver. And so you can really easily take out the links on your own. And uh, that's what I did. And so I've actually really enjoyed wearing it with the metal band. It's, the watch itself is incredibly light and comfortable. So once you get the band comfortable, it's actually, I know it looks big, uh, but it's actually quite comfortable and, and doesn't feel too heavy on the wrist. So I know some people justify these watches with, uh, you know, it's like an additional safety device, right? So it's got the moving map and if everything else goes wrong, you still have that safety on your wrist. That's pretty cool. For me, it's like the logging of flights that it does automatically when you take off and land. Uh, the O2 sensor, I think, is super helpful and a, a great feature. And honestly, if you want a watch that has aviation features, obviously Garmin is the leader there. Uh, and, you know, especially if you've got other Garmin products like Garmin Pilot and Garmin Panels and that sort of thing, it really is a cool pilot accessory uh, that updates, you know, that classic pilot watch. So um, I would say, yeah, give it a try, or if you see one of the shows, wear it for a little while, see how it feels, because um, I've really enjoyed uh, trying it the past couple of days, and, and I, like I said, I really enjoy their kind of the lower end watch. So certainly worth uh, checking out.